everybody. Andre Adams here, down here at Titan Medical Center in Tampa. We came down this weekend, spent some time with the team, get a good workout, and then also talk a little bit about some of my favorite therapies. So I'm gonna start first off with Hercules Potion. As you guys know, that's one of the staples in my routine. Uh, today we actually went bilaterally, in the triceps, got a nice little pump up through the arms and shoulders. Uh, for me, I like to really target whatever muscle group I'm trying to train that day. Uh, but also you do get a systemic benefit out of that, right? So the arginine, citrulline does give you a pump uh, throughout your whole body. So one of my favorite therapies for muscular development and also just energy and focus. The other big thing that I've noticed is really that anti-fatigue effect. I'm able to train a little bit harder and longer in the gym before my body starts to really shut down. So you notice that also the next day, you're not gonna be as sore because your recovery is a little bit better. Uh, the other things I wanna mention, Nectar of Gods and Tri-Immunity. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me talk about these quite a bit. Two of my favorite therapies for, again, focusing on boosting your immune system, um, recovery, all that good stuff. You know, even some arginine still in the uh, Nectar of Gods. But right now, you know, we're just getting out of cold and flu season. If you work anywhere in a social setting, a school, if you're in education, if you work in the gym, these are all good therapies to help boost your immunity and keep you functioning tight and strong you know, as you're trying to stay in shape and reach all your health and fitness goals. One of the key ways that I've used Titan as a service and a resource for my athletes and just my general fitness clients as a whole has been really starting with that blood work and that labs. So you guys heard me talk about this at NASM Optima last year, right? The importance of blood work, monitoring what's happening on the inside of our bodies. Without that, it's kind of like bowling through a curtain, right? You've got to really understand your key health indicators You've got to understand any outliers in your blood work, any gaps or opportunities to increase your performance. So for myself, for my athletes, that's always our starting point. Before we start any kind of training or nutrition regimen, we look for um, all kinds of factors that are happening there from our CBC differential, right, thyroid function, hormone function, triglycerides, really that full spectrum of, of you know, health indicators. So definitely um, one of the starting points and you know, time and time again, Titan doesn't disappoint. I get the feedback from my athletes about how great their experience is. So, you know, regardless of where you're located at, you can schedule your labs remotely. Titan's going to review them, get back to you uh, with some of those key insights and recommend any therapies or corrective actions that you need to take to improve your health. MK677, I boot a more in. So I got to thank John and Drew for putting me onto that one. Um, just kind of educate me about it. It's been one of the most effective tools that I've used to Go through this current bulk cycle that i'm in right now right so i think last time i was down here I was about 212 215 pounds currently sitting a little above 230 pounds and it's really just helped me put on that muscle that i've been trying to achieve so definitely noticing it even um you know checking my labs previously a few months back compared to my current labs we've noticed the igf1 numbers coming up uh, again just synergistic with a good nutrition and training plan helping me reach those muscular development goals. So I boot a more highly recommend it to anybody who's trying to focus on muscular development. And also it'll increase some of your appetite, right? It's a ghrelin mimetic. So again, a great all around product for you. Any and everybody can really benefit from Titan, whether you're looking at increasing the way that you feel, right? Your aesthetic physique goals. It could just be a lifestyle goal that you have. Um, relationship goals, antioxidants, anti-aging, all that good stuff. Uh, Titan really has benefits and services for anybody who's looking to improve their overall health. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. I just wanna let you guys know how easy it is to sign up with us. All you have to do is call, text, or email, or you can also go to our website at titanmedicalcenter.com Click the tab and fill out the new patient paperwork. Then you can be seen via FaceTime or Skype. You don't even have to come into the office. You can then have a consultation with myself or one of our other awesome providers. Here at Titan, we offer hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, anti-aging therapies, injectable vitamin and amino acid therapies, hangover and rejuvenation recovery, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, blood work, peptide therapies, IV therapy, and we service nationwide. Whether it be boosting your immune system function, building lean muscle mass, whatever the case may be, we're here to help. Give us a call, 727-389-3220.
What's up guys, John here, and today I wanna to talk to you about some good tips and tricks that will set you up for success when you're going to do workouts or strenuous activity, okay? So I've talked about before in the past some of the things not to do. That's a whole different video. But there are some different things that you can do that are gonna set you up for success when you're going in to get a great workout or to have great strenuous activity, whatever it may be. So let's talk about some of these different things that you can do to help improve your workouts or strenuous activities. The first one, so get some headphones. They don't have to be expensive ones, but get some headphones, create a playlist. Music is awesome. That's why it's in every movie. It motivates us when we're driving or in an emotional state. It can bring up feelings. It can definitely motivate you when you're in the gym. The other thing is, it actually will cancel out the different distractions that may be around you in the gym. And it detours people from coming up to you because some people might come up to you at the gym. You never know. So if you're kind of zoned in, you're listening to music, you're really not paying attention to other people or anything else, you're zoning in to what you're doing, to that activity or to that exercise, which is awesome. Plus, you're getting that emotion from that music and that playlist, which is helping you out or might actually help you do more reps, feel stronger when you're in there, or be able to do longer cardio sets, right? Because we want something to distract us, not worried about the countdown, one, two, three, oh my God, we, we're barely to a minute now. You'll just be rocking and rolling and get into your own little zone. It's awesome thing. Just get in that zone, you'll be rocking and rolling, and you'll get way better results that way, I promise. Number two. You want to have some kind of meal or some sort of nutritional factor in there as far as getting a little bit of protein, um, maybe eating some, some natural sugars like some fruits. These are great things to do before you go to the gym. Not eating an abundance of it or not eating a whole bunch of candy or overeating and stuffing yourself and feeling tired and lethargic afterwards like we talked about before. But getting a little bit of balance in there for what your body can utilize while it works out and then afterwards for repairing your body. After you break down all those muscles and everything, you need to repair and it needs nutrients to do this. So having that balance of being able to eat beforehand and then a little bit afterwards is going to help you tremendously in your results. Whether it's trying to get lean or you're trying to put on more lean body mass as far as that goes, so losing weight or putting on lean quality mass and, and gaining more muscle. And we know this, the more muscle you have, the more fat that you burn. So it's not a bad thing. And you don't have to turn into a huge bodybuilder to do this. You're just having your body fat very low and you're having you know your lean body mass very high. All right. So then are two different tricks. The third one, getting proper rest the night before. This is key because if you don't have proper rest, you know, you might not be there mentally, you might not be there physically, you not might not be able to feel like you want to go in there and, and be able to do anything. So at that point, you want to make sure that you're getting proper rest so you have enough energy throughout the day or after work to be able to go in there and do it. Okay, and proper rest is going to get you in there mentally, you'll be able to do more physically, it's just overall better for your health. And it actually brings down stress levels too as well. So the fourth tip or trick, this one correlates with the last one completely. And that is showing up. That's half the battle. Okay, whether you're tired or not. If you go in there and you get that activity in and you're exercising, you're going to be helping yourself and you're going to progress a little bit is better than nothing, okay? So if you go in there, at least you're getting something. You're, you're, you're getting your heart rate up. You're working, you know, you're getting towards that result. Now you shouldn't do this all the time, but if there's days where you're just not feeling it, try to push through the hardest you possibly can. If it's not the best workout in the world, at least you put forth the effort, you're burning some calories there, and you can feel good about it. It's actually, it's a rewarding feeling. So make sure you guys show up and go in and do something, all right? Don't make it a habit to show up and do nothing or very little. You wanna make sure you're showing up, being consistent, and putting a lot of, for, a lot of effort forth, okay? So these are just four tips and tricks that I wanna share with you for your success in your weight loss journey, building lean mass, you know, overall better health, okay? So thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. We got more tips and tricks coming your way. So stay tuned, stay healthy, and stay tight and strong.
So today I came in a Titan Medical Center to check to get some blood work done. I came in to see what was going on on the inside of my body. You know, I am getting a little bit older. I am 26 years old now, and just was a little scared to see what was going on with my health. I came in today to Titan Medical. It was very simple, very easy. Didn't even feel the pain of doing it. I was in and out. I recommend everyone to get their blood work done. So if you have any questions, you should definitely come in to Titan Medical. I get the question a lot of times from patients. John, what can I do to really slow down the aging process, the aging effect, right? I'm not sleeping like I should be. I'm gaining weight. I'm losing lean muscle mass, right? My mood's not the best it always should be. And what can I do? Because I don't want to age this quickly. And then I talk about some of the different things we can offer. And this peptide therapy is one in particular. So CJC-1295 and Imperellin are GHRH peptides. They're growth hormone leasing hormone peptides. They're going to help stimulate your natural growth hormone and not overstimulate it. So at that point, you're going to get all the benefits without any negative side effects of synthetic growth hormone, right? So what could be better than gaining muscle mass, lean out, right? Losing that fat, having better sleep patterns, having a better mood, increased libido. All these things are anti-aging, right? And these things can be helped with this peptide therapy. It's really, really cool. And when I talk to patients, I tell them, hey, listen, think about this. As we age, everything starts to decline, right? I always give the flower example. We grow, we bloom, we wither, and we die. But how can we slow down that process? And this therapy is one that you should really check into if you're looking to do so. So CJC 1295 and Imperellin are two different peptide therapies in one package. So you get the benefits of both of these peptides that work synergistically together to unlock that secret of success of anti-aging for yourself. So if you guys are interested in this peptide or any of the other therapies that can help benefit your quality of life, give us a call or text today, 727-389-3220. And check out the website, guys, tightmedicalcenter.com. I have all the information you guys want. You guys can also contact us, and we'll just fill you in on all the rest. I'm John from Titan, and I hope you guys are having a great day.
What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, you'll see me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, coming at you guys with awesome topics and things that will hopefully entice, enhance, and promote your relationship to a whole new level. And you know what? If you're not in a relationship at this time, don't worry, because you're right around the corner from finding your perfect one. You never know when that perfect companion is going to be right next to you and you might just talk to him and you might just live the rest of your life with him but some people it just doesn't happen like that either you so you guys will get lucky you guys will get lucky i promise you guys I'm sure just don't go looking don't for go it. looking for it and cupid <laughs> will shoot you with that arrow ah keep his corner like yeah that. Oh, at least a little mark though that's okay <laughs> That's okay. A nasty little bruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll feel good. It's all that matters. Yes. So, you know, obviously this week we've got an awesome event that's coming up. What is that event, you think? Um, This thing, like, they, they got, like, eggs. And then they got, like, they got these ears. You're talking about Easter? Yeah, Easter! <laughs> Easter. So, it's yeah. all about chocolate. This is a whole another. This is oh, a whole. Is that what Easter's about? Easter's all about chocolate. Oh. I'm totally kidding. I'm kidding. Valentine's Day is all about chocolate. <laughs> okay. I hate chocolate for I the Valentine's record. Day was, I, I thought Valentine's Day was more roses. No, it's chocolate and just it's it, it, me to me. And bleh. Let's just get that out. She doesn't like chocolate. That's no, it's it repulsive. Is. So, yeah. yeah. No, it's not no about Cadbury chocolate. eggs for her, huh? It's not about chocolate. What about the chicks? You want the chicks? I don't want any chicks. Oh. I don't want any chicks. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not down with the chicks. She likes some mushy marbles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all about spending time with your family. What's it? What's it really about? So Easter, Easter. Obviously, you know, if if you guys do or have a religious background, Catholic, Christian, usually. Obviously, we know what you know what Easter is, right? Yeah, I would that's hope when so. East, that's when you know Jesus is risen, right? Christ is risen, right? Mm -hmm. And in Greek, we go Christos Anestis, Christos Anestis, Christos Anestis. Right? That means Christ is risen. I can say it know? now after a decade. So you know, this is a big time for a lot of families around the country right and you know mostly promoted as a holiday i think it's more americanized where we have the easter bunny and you go searching for the eggs and people get easter baskets teddy right? bears they got all this cool stuff yeah you know? so you know yeah. it, it this is all awesome okay and this tradition and yeah. tradition is important especially to our country because this is one of one of our many traditions we'll see we how long here. the tradition stays for and you, it, listen whether you're religious or you're not religious everybody i think likes easter to a certain everybody extent. likes bunnies right they're cute yeah and that, that put a softer side to things you know it really did i mean bunnies are cool right i i, I had a, the fortunate i was fortunate enough to have a bunny when i was a kid growing up yeah. and i only had it for a short time because when my dogs got in the cages and ripped them apart john but, said he likes animals you fed your animals to the animals? I didn't animals? feed them, no. The dog <laughs> got in there and got to it. And I was really, really upset about it. Oh, I was, I was sure. a kid, and I didn't like to see this. You know, I, I actually seen my dead rabbit, and I was like, oh, my God. I thought the world was going to end. Oh, my God. It's you know, terrible. For kids to see it, it I sucks. never heard this story. Like, but, going back to the positive things on Easter. But, but that's life, too, right? And exactly. That, and that, and that's, that's what we got. We got to love life, too, because it's all in cycles. Anyway, but back to Easter. I mean, listen. You know, you can take your kids out. You can enjoy a fun Easter egg hunt with your kids. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is about spending time with your family, your loved ones. And if, if you are, you know, of a religious background, obviously you're excited because Christ is risen, right? This is a big thing. And usually, you know, Good Friday is on Friday. No the kids got, you know, they got they got out of school on Friday because of Good Friday. And, um, you know, for us Greeks, what we do, we sustain and we wouldn't eat any meat until after the service. Uh, you know of Greek Easter and then at that point that Greek was Easter is not usually on Easter of American Easter it's usually it's yes. usually the weekend after so even in this year next week is Greek Easter so we get two Easter's when we're Greek right so I love being Greek I'll because be at, it's just it involves a lot of food <laughs> I'll be at the baseball <laughs> tournament so I'm, I'm gonna put Greek Easter and American Easter on the same holiday this year which is this Sunday mm -hmm. okay it's an uh, amazing day obviously I'm a believer in uh, Christ, and Christ is risen. That's an awesome thing for me. And at that point, we can eat a lot of meat Sunday night. I I'm really bad about that, I'll be honest. I eat meat every day. And, every and day. I, I don't sustain from not eating meat. Morning and night. So I am bad in that aspect, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's going to eat it no matter what. You know? but, but I'm good in all the other different ways, so hopefully I'm making it up to God, and he's loving me in the same light. Well, you know, the way I see it, though, as I've gotten older, though, you know, because when you're younger, I mean, we used to take Peter... 
and do these Easter egg hunts. Cool one. The best one oh. ever. Best one ever was the one where like they had a helicopter that would drive over, like you know, they would fly, fly over over this big field, right? It's like almost like and a they football would, field. Yeah, and they would put all the children, right? And they would walk them all off. Yeah, the right? sidelines. And all the children are waiting with their little baskets like this. You got someone like the, the little bags, like bags. Yeah. They, and so what happened is they would go and they they would drop the eggs yes. from the sky. Yes. D- like, like, Helicopter fly by. I, was like, Wait, I, I didn't down. know when the bunny all of a sudden got wings, but you know, the bunny, the bunny got was wings. flying a helicopter, man. So, you know, they, they, they would drop all these eggs and then they would let the children loose on these eggs and you would just run and get as many eggs as you possibly yeah. can, right? Yeah. Without trampling other children. Yeah. Of course, you know, me being the awesome mom that I am, I made sure Peter got as many eggs as possible and yeah. nobody trampled. Peter. And, that, and that's, that's that's something that's coming back that's really cool, right? Easter egg hunts used to be like a staple of Easter, especially for kids. Like all different places, churches, all these different different places would have Easter egg hunts. And obviously these last couple of years because of COVID, they haven't been able to do this. Yeah, that's We've cool. taken that little part portion away of Easter just from our kids. Yeah, and, and that you know, I understand the, the meaning of Easter, so I'm not going to say that's all about Easter, but for the kids that you know, they understand religion to a certain extent, but they really don't get it yet, I don't think, because their, their minds aren't fully developed so all the, the way. So the least you can do is um, maybe enhance the, this is a family day. It's a know? family day, for sure. And, and this way you to have your mom over and your dad over Absolutely. and everybody gets together as a family. It's almost like a Thanksgiving, yeah. you know? being grateful it makes you think being grateful you know and like i said as i've gotten older throughout the years minus the helicopter because that was cool i wanted to go easter that was cool i mean i, I want to go easter and see these cool. eggs fall from the sky you know but i mean it's because i'm you know a believer in god every day it just it really is just another day for me yeah. to believe in god and appreciate god and thank god for everything i have and everything i'm blessed with because absolutely. i am incredibly blessed absolutely Blessed, blessed to be here and blessed to be a part of uh, another Easter that's coming up. Blessed to be healthy. Um, you know, every day you should, you know, you should say your blessings for sure. You know, be grateful for what you have. Um, you know, Easter is just another day that makes you recognize these things and should make you recognize these things. And when you're apart, you know, by your family, you know, that, that should be one of your most important things because family is everything to me. Um, it, it is to a lot of people out there. Some people it's not, and I, I don't understand how it's not, but it isn't. So... You know, I think that's a core value that everybody should, you know, take in. And, and maybe if family's not your strongest point or you don't have family per se. I know a lot of people, you know, that never had a family before. So it's, it's really important. So when you do, be grateful for what you have. I mean, or those little things like that are, are, is everything. Mm-hmm. You know, so Easter is a great holiday. It's not just about bunnies and Easter eggs. It's about family time, enjoying each other, and, and really getting into the spirit of things, right? And if you're religious... You know, thanking Christ has risen. That's a beautiful thing. Yep. Right? Yes. All right. So that's it, guys. Another great show from me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m., Cupid's Corner, ABC, every Sunday. If you guys missed it, DVR it. And if you didn't do that, don't worry. We got your back. Go to YouTube right now. Type in Type Medical Center and watch all these great episodes. And you guys can also check out our podcast, Titan Lifestyle. Type it in anywhere where we can download podcasts and you'll love every single bit of it. I promise. We'll see you guys next week. Yep, we'll see you then.